Is your camera on? Mm-hmm. Can you not have your camera off? Because right now he's going it's facing to him. It's off the credit card machine. It's off the mail and it's off the credit card machine. That's why I reposition myself. Yeah, I repositioned it to where I'm only catching I'm only catching her in the window. It was almost a pass. She just didn't have to say anything. That would have been great. You were almost good, girl. All you had to do was just leave it alone for like 30 more seconds and let me buy my stamped envelope. He was gonna do a transaction. That's I why. <laughs> that's why I stood over but here. I didn't know that part. Of I, I prepositioned myself on purpose mm -hmm. just for that. Mm -hmm. Your poster seven's outdated. Your poster seven's outdated. It's supposed to be August twenty sixteen, not August seven. You want you want put you want put your job or your money on it? Uh -huh. Which one? I'm gonna get one of the two. Which one you want to do? Money or job? It's supposed to be August twenty sixteen. Come on, man! I do this for a living. Lost. Come on. Gentlemen, we are at the United States Postal Service out here in Everman. It is considered the southeast branch in Fort Worth. Just want to show how run down this is. It even has a bird nest sitting inside this rundown sign. The only reason I'm here today is I got several complaints about several things, like this overgrown grass that we have here. Just very poor upkeep. So we're gonna go in and do this audit. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned to the very end because on this one, I'm going to have you guys decide, we the people, if this is going to be a post office pass or a post office fail. Please leave your comments down below. But uh, how do we get into that? Oh, well, we're gonna see it in the mail. Because it's open. 
Oh, it's just open? Oh, okay. You should have said you're all independent of our sister. Open the door. Oh, the one that go all the way up to the house? Yeah. Okay. So she said you guys can go to the corporate side. Yeah, because we're just like a street just with a little roundabout right here. Yeah. And they have all three mailboxes here. One of those is your mailbox. Yeah. yeah, it's still 54. It, it has it on there. So yeah. it's open? It's open. Oh, okay. All right. But the boxes, since you're not there, mm-hmm. but nobody's home, but you know that your yeah. parents are going to bring you back because they won't take you to the All right, so we would have to come up here. Yeah. She's out of here. She want to be. So we'll be a pink slip. Okay. Tell you to come up here. All right. And um, all the other mail, do we just call them to bring it to that one now? Or do we tell you? Did you do a check at the bathroom? Uh, not yet. You need to do a check at the bathroom. We're about to put it on the new one, right? New house or the old house? You're going to take it from the old house and send it to the new house. Okay. Um, out of change of the address, but if you go online to USPS uh-huh. change address, you'll be able to do it online. Okay. Great. Thank you. Sure. Sorry about the wait. Have a nice day. No, you're fine. How's it going? Okay. Uh, uh, you don't get any box. They don't need that at all. They just put it back up. Yeah, they just put it back up. They do. Find the right of our cards and give it a key. Do you need to set that up front? Do you need to set that up front? Uh, it might be a while. Uh, no, I was figured you probably wanted to set it up there so you didn't have to keep carrying it, dragging it. I, I don't think it's going anywhere. Because <laughs> you're just dropping it off, right? Yeah, the electricity went out at our post office. And we had all this mail to go out, and we had more mail. Oh, my gosh. They didn't get through with it. They hadn't got through with it yet. So I don't know what they'll do with that. I'm, thinking, I'm sure that if you just told you here to drop it off, they'll just be like, okay, grab it and beat it. Yeah, I'm going to see if they'll put it, let me put it in their tubs and take my big tubs up. You go front of me if you want me. I'll just buy an envelope. Oh, yeah.
Oh, you're welcome. I appreciate you doing that for us. You too. Is your camera on? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can you not have your camera off? Because right now he's going it's facing to him. It's off the credit card machine. You what? It's off the mail and it's off the credit card machine. That's why I repositioned myself. Yeah, I repositioned it to where I'm only catching I'm only catching her in the window. It was almost a pass. She just didn't have to say anything. That would have been great. Did I do that? I'm guessing you're the postmaster or the manager, sir. I, obviously, you're some sort of supervisory position. Yes. It's either front end customer service because you're wearing a polo, or it's postmaster, or it's installation head. It's one of the three. You almost good, girl. All you had to do was just leave it alone for like 30 more seconds and let me buy my stamped envelope. Because I know that he was going to do a transaction. That's why. That's why I stood over here. I didn't know that part. I, I repositioned myself on purpose just for that. That way I couldn't be accused of it. Oh, yeah, I didn't know. See, I wanted to have Dang it. So and I was just going to say this was great. I was even going to ask for your name and put, like, in a, for a good uh, kudos. But now it's like, dang it. Now I got to decide when I get home now. So it's not going to be a, it's not gonna be a, an instant fail. So No, just that's it. By the way, your poster seven is outdated. Outdated. Your poster seven's outdated. It's supposed to be August twenty sixteen, not August seven. You want you want put you want put your job or your money on it? Which one? <laughs> I'm gonna get one of the two. Which one you want to do? Money or job? Damn! Damn! Put the money on it. Dollars easier than. Thank you, love. How are you doing? Here, I'll come show you. I'll be giving you a hard time. Three dollars. Yes, sir. Thank you. Supposed to be August 2016. Come on, man. I do this for a living. Damn, you're right. I lost. Come on. So you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. But hey, Levitt, I appreciate you having a good sense of humor coming out I checking. Know, I like I like that, okay? No hey, just a couple things. I, let me do this. Since he was so cool, I actually pulled him off camera to go over the overgrown grass and the bird's nest sitting in the post office sign outside. I didn't want to embarrass him.
Bottom line, I still think it's a good audit, but I'm going to leave it up to you, we the people, if it's a pass or fail. Put your comments down below. Okay, guys, I'm finished here at this post office. Um, I had to talk to the supervisor off camera. Um, just as a courtesy, I did that. We had a little bit of a, about a 10 minute discussion. Um, very friendly, more of an educational thing. I think they did real well up until the very end. So I don't know if I'm gonna mark this a fail or pass as of yet of this video, but it's more of a training situation. They, they, I thought almost had it done right, but at the very end there, but it wasn't as bad as the previous post office audit fails I've had. So just a couple things, um, but I'll catch you guys in the next one. BZ Watchdog out. Catch me outside, how about that?